Hey, good afternoon. My name is Eric Morris, and I am the founder and director of Non-Typical Outdoors Incorporated. Uh, I consider myself to be a leader in diversity and inclusion. I started Non-Typical Outdoors uh, in February of 2022 to address the need for more participation, more support of minorities hunting and fishing in the outdoors. Because let's face it, hunting in the outdoors is not very diverse here in America. Our purpose is to uh, show self-sufficiency, promote uh, wildlife careers in natural resources, wildlife conservation. We're also big into legislation to help have a voice and to put our input uh, as minorities into uh, the different decisions that are being made. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, where is the results? Where are the results? What have this organization done? It's important to support organizations such as ours because we are actually getting the work done. So I encourage everybody who's seeing this to uh, reach out to me, ask me how you can help. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so we could use the support. I think that when you have an organization as strong, as capable, as competent as Non-Typical Outdoors Incorporated, it only makes sense for other organizations out there who want diversity and inclusion to contact us, to see how can we partner together to get more diversity, true inclusion out there in outdoors, and not just a cute mission statement, a diversity clause, results. That's what, that's what matters at the end of the day, results. So if any of you all out there are interested in hunting, contact me. You can go to the website, ntoinc.org, and send us a message, I'll get the message, or you can hit me up on Instagram, LinkedIn, Eric NTO Morris, or Non-Typical Outdoorsman brand. You can find that on uh, LinkedIn as well, as well as Instagram. I want to thank Discovery Park of America for this opportunity to come up and hunt Real Foot Lake because it was a dream come true. You know, I've hunted all over the world, but I haven't made it here to, to Real Foot Lake, and it was an excellent experience. And I appreciate the work that you all are doing with your exhibit that you're working on and wanting to showcase more diversity when it comes to waterfowl in the outdoors.